Mount and Dread. Um, there were two things that we were going to um, quickly cover on the agenda. We have converted the um, the storage survey that we had discussed on previous calls into a um, into a uh, survey monkey um, survey. I'll just send that to the chat window. Um, if uh, we could we could step through that if you want, or I could send it out via email and we could collect um, feedback. What I'd like to do is to finish off the feedback um, this week and have the survey finalized um, by, by Friday, if possible. Does anybody have a strong uh, request to go through it now? I'm not sure that would be very productive use of our time. I think I think people can just go through it offline and some comments. I think it, it looks reasonably uncontroversial to me. Um, there's probably some nitpicky things that, that could be changed, but um, I think we've been through it enough times now in various formats that uh, using the rest of the meeting to go through it again would not be useful. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, uh, Jean and Quinton have sent me um, feedback by email, which I'll be uh, incorporating into the into the survey today, um, and then I can send it out for one last review um, before we send it to the end user forum. Um, the other thing that we had for the agenda was to cover um, uh, to have a, an initial discussion, or at least just a statement of intent, I guess, that we're going to be converting this working group into one of the um, newly created CNCF six. Um, the six were voted for um, by the TOC um, and were approved. Um, and the, the, the idea behind the six is um, to Further, to, the idea behind this is, is to, to create um, um, a better organization for the CNCF to, to help scale the um, functionality of the talk as we uh, continue to add more projects into the CNCF and we continue to have a, a build an ever um, larger community. Um, so the, the working group trans transitioning into, into the SIG um, will give us the capability or, or will give us a more formal mandate based on the SIG charter to, um, to, to help the talk with uh, project reviews and, uh, and, and other community work that, that we'll get engaged in. Um, Quentin, I don't know if you want to add something to that. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing, so, so, so each SIG in the current proposal uh, has three chairs and three uh, uh, tech leads. Um, and the, the responsibilities are slightly different. The chairs are mostly kind of making sure that things move forward and, and that all of the sort of bureaucracy side of things happens. Uh, and the tech leads are more responsible for the deep technical dives into the projects, etc. cetera. Um, we sort of de facto have some people who do those functions at the moment um, and the current sort of my, my you know, and this is not a proposal I've discussed with anyone, but my proposal would be to have um, myself, Alex and, and other as, as chairs uh, and Shing and two others as tech leads. Um, so if anyone would like to help out and be one of those roles, um, you should please reach out to me or Alex uh, for the moment because we're sort of de facto driving this thing. Uh, what we plan to do is have a charter ready by the end of this week or early next week um, and then uh, we'll start sort of massaging that into shape uh, in collaboration uh, with the TOC liaison uh, for storage. <clears throat> Uh, which is Jiang from uh, Alibaba. So yeah, uh, if anyone has any thoughts, suggestions, or objections, um, please voice them either here or in email to me or Alex.
Dann. Gut. Um, I think that covers, <laughs> that covers our rather short agenda for today, unless anybody wants to bring anything else up. Um, perhaps, Kieran, I see you're on, do you want to maybe give an update as to um, uh, where you are on, on creating the PR for the Open EPS submission? Yes, Alex, thanks. Uh, so I've got uh, some content already done, uh, going through a few more rounds of review for that one uh, from the team and the Open EPS uh, users. Uh, I've got some feedback. I'm going to incorporate them today and then uh, ready to raise the PR. Uh, meanwhile, we are, we've reached out to the talk members to, uh, for sponsorship. Uh, I think those things are going well. Uh, we should have it uh, ready by Monday. Fantastic. Well, that, that's, that's really good. Right. Uh, one question. Uh, so once we raise the uh, proposal to the talk, do we do I have to follow up with anyone for uh, setting it up on the agenda for the talk to take it forward? Or do they come back to us and schedule us? Sorry, I've been a bit uh, dialed out of this thing. Um, yeah, we need to just put some, uh, give it to uh, Chris Anacek. Um, and the next one is tentatively scheduled for a month from yesterday. Uh, but we could probably actually get that expedited if there is a good reason to do that. Um, the, the default would be that we get on the agenda for uh, four weeks time from today. Now, does that get us, it would be really, Great to get this wrapped up before KubeCon Europe. Uh, and I forget the exact date for that. Does anyone have it handy? It's the 22nd of May. Okay, so if we did the presentation in two weeks time, uh, sorry, in four weeks time, uh, that would give us almost two weeks to get into the sandbox, which I think is enough. Um, what we could do in the meantime is get the presentation ready, the proposal, you know, the PR, all of these things lined up uh, get uh, CNCF sponsors, a TOC sponsors. Um, and so that when the presentation comes up in four weeks time, we've pretty much got all the, all the, everything dealt with. And then it's, it's mostly just a um, formality to get it into the sandbox. And then you'd be able to announce it at KubeCon Europe, which would be pretty good. Awesome. Great. Uh, so I, I think right now, one of the pending things from my side would be the, uh, presentation itself. So I'll go through some of the past presentations to see if I can put in a few slides around that. Uh, mm -hmm. And we'll send out for review uh, this week itself to you guys. Thanks. Yeah, I think I think the presentation that you gave us was, was great, um, and mostly sort of technically focused. I think what they will want to know is a little more about, and I, I can't remember the details of the presentation, like some of the parts or yeah it was a while ago now but uh you'll want to talk uh, go, go and look at some of the previous presentations you'll want to talk a little bit about you know contributors and community and users and that kind of stuff uh, as well as the technical um side of things okay thanks Quinton. I'll have, uh, let me know yeah thank you and uh, as far as toc sponsors um we should speak to Jiang. um uh, he's sort of the liaison for storage and I think he will take our guidance on um, uh, whether he's comfortable with it. I, I, I would imagine there would be no objections. Um, and we just need to find one other. Um, I can either ask him to speak to others or I can speak directly to one of the... Brendan Burns is generally a pretty you know, cooperative guy. Uh, I can speak to him as well. Okay. Uh, so we have got Alexis... Uh, uh, approval. Uh, so he said he will be willing to sponsor. Oh, uh, that's perfect. Right. So I, I think uh, working with uh, Ziang is the uh, only thing that's pending right now. So we'll... we'll okay. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you. And sorry if I've been a little bit uh, preoccupied with other things. I've had a very busy few weeks. So I haven't necessarily given this particular topic my uh, top priority. <laughs> well, this has definitely been very helpful. Uh, I mean, you, Siang, and Alex, uh, all the feedback has really helped us push forward. Okay, great. Great. Yeah, thanks. Good stuff. Um, in that case, unless anybody has any other items to, to raise, I think 
we don't have any other pressing topics today. Okay, hey, Alex, uh, when are you going to send the survey out to the user group for them to do the survey? So I'll incorporate um, the feedback that uh, Quinton and yourself gave me and send it out to the mailing list um, probably in the next two, three hours. And then um, assuming there's no more feedback or sort of minimal changes, we'll, we'll try and get it out to the interview. I'll send it to Cheryl, say, Friday evening. Um, so great. I, I, I think what we want to try and do is, is you know, get the survey out to the end users for a couple of weeks, collect as much feedback as possible, um, uh, and get ourselves in a position where we can um, look at the results and try and figure out some of the next steps so that we have um, a good story to present at, at KubeCon in terms of, you know, what the SIG is going to be tackling and um, request the appropriate people from the community to engage at that stage. Yeah, just a couple of thoughts on that general topic. So one is, um, I seem to recall that we actually signed up for a, an in-person uh, session with the end user group. And I think it was April, May sometime, but we'll have to go and dig through the email trail. Does anyone know offhand? So Cheryl basically asked all of us to sign up to, you know, have a 30 minute session, public session with end users. Um, and we would basically be able to ask them anything we like and uh, they would be able to ask us anything they like, etc. Um, does anyone know what the date scheduled for that was? I will have to go back and check. I did have just, the top of my head. Just look, look for an email from Cheryl. It, it should give you all the information. Uh, if not, she can, she can tell you what that date is. But I think it's probably coming up in the next few weeks. So just a thought was, yeah, if we can get the survey out, make it public, send it to as many mailing lists and whatever as we can um, by the end of this week or beginning of next week, and then we can, you know, back that up with a, with a presentation to the end user community um, whenever that is scheduled for, and then further solicit more input from them and just make sure they're all aware, aware of it if they missed the email. I think that'll be super effective. Um, secondly, um, I think the next step that we probably want, and I don't want to preempt any input we get from people um, between now and then, but I think the next thing we want to do is actually publish a paper that says, here are a couple of case studies of you know, meaningful storage use cases from a bunch of people who prepared to talk about them um, with both positive experiences and negative experiences. I think, I think that's what end users are probably going to benefit from. Um, and so our current questionnaire doesn't really ask those questions. It gives us an indication of who might have the right, you know, who, who might be prepared to give us input on these things, but it doesn't actually give us data to publish that paper. So I think that should be the focus of our sort of discussion forums and things at, uh, at uh, Copenhagen is trying to elicit some of that information from willing participants. And maybe we need to start off with a sort of an email uh, to the mailing list before then to try and, and, you know, get that ball rolling before we get to Barcelona. Um, I, I think so that we get some, some use cases for discussion in Barcelona, you mean? Well, w what I'm saying is we could maybe even get that conversation going before Barcelona uh, with an email thread. Uh, and at least by the time we get to Barcelona, we've got some, you know, protagonists and something to talk about rather than starting with a blank sheet of paper. Okay. Um, and when you mentioned the mailing list, do you, do you want to talk to the, so do you mean the end users themselves or, or the, the storage mailing list? Uh, I think it's actually end user stories that we're wanting. Um, yeah. So both would probably be the answer. I and mean, we don't want a, a bunch of vendors telling us, you know, marketing stories about their storage product. Uh, we actually want end users who've tried, you know, various approaches to storage for a particular end use case and had successes with some approaches and failures with others and are prepared to talk about them. I think that's what we're looking for. Yeah, agreed. Um, do you know what? It just occurred to me that it's probably worth having 
um, uh, a tick box in the survey, sort of right after their email submission to kind of say, are you um, interested in, in discussing a use case with the storage working group? Yes, I agree. I think that's a very good, that's a very good uh, piece of data to have. Okay. Should we cool. bring this up when we are having this meeting with the end users? We have a meeting, right? I was just looking for the email, but I can't find an email where we actually have a date. I'm, I'll ping Cheryl just to see if something was agreed, but otherwise I've got... Um, I'll dig around with the email. Form. Yeah, I might have it. I've got so many in inboxes, I have to go and dig through several of them to find it. But if I find it, I'll put a link to it in the, in the meeting notes. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll ping Cheryl for the date. Oh, here we go. Wait, I have it. I have it. Oh, I found it. Uh, meeting date: Quinton Hool, Kubernetes Sigma. Oh, what? Uh, maybe maybe it's a different thing. So I have a session on May 14 related to multi-cluster, but I see they have some slots available. They have a slot available May 28 is the earliest one on her calendar thing, which yeah, too let, let me let me let me ping her and see and see. Um, we yeah, are there any cancellations? Is May April 9, which was yesterday, I guess they did. You might be able to steal the April 23 slot from Phil Estes, maybe. Oh, there's two slots, actually. So, yeah, speak to her and see what we can do. Worst case, we can... Actually, there's another slot on May 14, because they have two slots. I have the one for SIG multi-cluster, but there's an empty second slot, or there was at least as of March 19. Maybe that's filled up since then. All right, I'll... I'll I'll, I'll be here and, and see whether we can, she, she may be able to squeeze this in. Oh, sorry, I see it has, the, that second slot on May 14 has already filled up, so see what you can do. All right, cool. All right. You mentioned there was something in Copenhagen? Before uh, is that right? There's a, there's a KubeCon coming up in Copenhagen. Uh, no, sorry, in Barcelona. Barcelona. Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm, my apologies, Barcelona. <laughs> My brain uh, skipped back to last year, which was Copenhagen. Yeah, I was wondering. You, I guess you just uh, that slip. I was like, I didn't. There's an impolite term term for what my brain just did there, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So about um, any help needed, uh, you know, um, working with the group. Uh, I need to check with my team here but um that might be something that i uh, that i could do I, I was actually trying to revive this uh, machine learning work group um but i'm not sure uh, i'm not sure what what's there so my my kind of role here was to to be in that realm but we uh, here at lenovo have a a, a strong um interest and, and need, desire to support the storage as well and and it may be something that I could uh, retask here as some as something for me to, to contribute to if needed yeah that'd be great uh, and I'm, I'm incidentally involved in the machine learning stuff as well so if, if I can help you kind of get connected to the right people there or re um, start any efforts there I'd be happy to yeah, I would appreciate that because that's kind of my key role is to um, it's to see what we can do to contribute uh, there and and um, kind of make that a, a revitalized uh, effort. Uh, if we can gather some more support there, that's that's kind of my key role. But I've been attending uh, these calls because, uh, of course, storage is an important part of that. Yeah. Are you are you um, most interested in the in the storage aspect of machine learning? Or are you interested in machine learning in the general sense? Um, so I'm on the um, HPC and, and machine learning solutions group here at, at Lenovo. And um, my team also is responsible for uh, a couple of storage products, uh, 
and so we kind of cross over to okay. machine learning and and working uh, with my peers here who are involved in storage. So we wanted to make sure that um, we were able to. Primarily, I, I wanted to be able to communicate as much information as I could gather here to them to prepare them uh, to make sure that we're uh, enabling cloud native uh, practices within our storage team. Awesome. Yeah, I've got a I've got another soon to be public uh, effort that that you might well want to get involved in. Uh, uh, which yeah, just drop me an email and we can carry on the conversation there. Cool. I'll do it. Thank you. All right. I think that's it. I think that's it. We'll give everybody back half an hour. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.